Okay, let's, um, we've got sort of 10 minutes left, so let's talk a bit about, um, I don't know, interesting people that you've met. I mean, you spent time with the Queen. Yeah, the Queen. She's lovely, actually. Tiny, but lovely. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah tiny, yeah. yeah. No, no, tiny. No. Um, yeah, no, I mean, she, the amazing thing with her is that just that she has she met incredible. everybody. I mean, I don't know whether there's 14 US presidents, and she has amazing stories about people she... And, incredibly authentic, you know, actually believes that it's not just the briefing note or whatever. You know, she actually knows what, you know, who she's met and why and incredibly lucid. So, yeah, her stories are... Um, Did she drive you and the... Yeah, she drove us when we went to Balmoral. She drove us off to the, to the barbecue. It was pretty cool, actually. It was quite fun, actually. So, the barbecue. Yeah. So, you... Because you got this amazing opportunity to stay <coughs> at Balmoral yeah. and you took the kids then, yeah. didn't you? How old would they have been then? Um, Max was... 16, yeah, and okay. Steffi was 18, I think. Yeah, and um, yeah, so they do the, the, when you go, you, you go for um, t t the typical pattern is you go for two nights and you, you either have a barbecue, yeah, um, and and a black tie event. And and some nights, the first time might be the first night might be black tie, and the second night might be barbecue, and the, the other way around, you know. And they just decide on the day, which is fine for me, I can put a black tie suit on about. You know, two minutes, but for Brona and Steffi, you know, it was you know, fairly major. You know, I'm putting on, you know, and so as it turned out, the first night we went, the Friday night, we actually had this barbecue and we were having all these drinks. And I said to the Queen, I said, Oh, is the barbecue here? And she said, Oh, no, no, no. And she, and she said, Oh, we probably should get going and I'll take you there. And I said, All oh, right. And she, I said, Is it close by? Can we walk? And she said, No, 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 we have to drive up there. And I went, oh, Okay. And we went out the front and there was this, this whole line. Of, um, and Will and Kate were there because they'd come for the weekend because the Queen decided, you know, because our kids were there, have some young people and stuff. So there's this range of, of this whole line of, of, of um, Range Rovers. And her one, they're all in British racing green, and her one had a little corgi on the front of it, you know, like you get the oh, Mercedes oh, style. Oh. And the doors like open. The were, but, uh, yeah, the doors oh. open. And she said to me and Brian, she said, come on, get in. And I said, are you driving? And she went, yep. And Will just looked at me and went, good luck. <laughs> kids are coming <laughs> Anyway, she's a great driver, actually. She was fantastic. We were like seven miles up and down. She was amazing because at the very end of the last day, we they do this thing, and last day you go to church. They've got this little church you probably will have seen on TV that they go for New Year's. They go all the time when they're there. And um, anyway, we, we were having lunch, and I said to her um, after church, and I said, oh, what's, what happens today? And she said, Mr Cameron's coming today. And I'm quite good mates with David, and I didn't actually realise he was coming. And I went, oh, right. Is he coming for a couple of days? And she said, well, he's meant to, but there's a problem in Downing Street. Um, and there was a lot of problems in Downing Street, as it turned out. But anyway, she said, so he's only going to stay Sunday night. He's not staying Monday night. And I said to her, but then, I'd, you know, he'd kind of been there two days. And I'd met her lots of times before anyway. And she's really lovely. So I said to her, look, I know this is sort of like a stupid, you know, antipodean question, but out of interest, you know, like what happens on Monday night? Is anyone else here? And she said, no, it's just me and the Duke and obviously the staff and stuff. But, you know, no. And I said, no, it sounds crazy, but what will you do? Like, put your jammies on and watch TV? Or, you know, like, what happens on Monday night? And she said, no, at 5.30, I'll, you know, they'll draw me a bath and I'll put a long dress on and the Duke will put black tie on. Wow. And we'll go to dinner. And I said, so it's just the two of you? She said, yes. And I said, there's no guests? And she said, no. I said, just you and the staff? She went, yes. I said, why on earth would you do that? And she just looked at me and she said, well, Prime Minister, I'm the last bastion of standards in the United Kingdom. I intend to maintain them. <laughs> so, I know, okay, fair enough. I'll put my jammies on and watch TV. But no, it's amazing, yeah. So she, she is really amazing. But um, I, met, I, met, I, mean, I met lots of other things. The funniest story, actually, I haven't told many people this story, but it's really crazy about um, but I went to COP19, which is what you do for climate change, and it was in Copenhagen, and the whole thing was a disaster. The whole thing, nothing worked. Obama gave the speech, they almost booed him. He was new. In fact, you know, I've just read his book, and he was talking about it in his book. The whole thing was a bloody disaster. Anyway, my guys said, you know, we weren't going to go, and then Greenpeace had a... Had a um, had a, a sausage sizzle to raise money to send me, which they never gave me the money for. But anyway, we went. So anyway, it was all good. So we go off to this thing. Anyway, in the end, we went. It was all fine. So the whole thing was just, I tell you, a chaotic disaster. But at the end of about one o'clock, they, they broke and they said, OK, go lunch. You know how you have those things, the leaders go off for lunch, you know. And I said to my guys, oh, God, do I really have to go to this lunch? I'm, you know, really, I can't be bothered. You know, honestly, this thing is just a train wreck. And they said, yep, you've got to go. You must go. 
And I went, okay. So I go along, I walk in this room, and it's by now it's about quarter past one, and I'm the only person in there. I mean, there were a couple of other people in the corner, like, no, no, no great, no. And I went, okay, and they, they took me over the seat, and they made me sit down in the seat, so I'm there thinking, this is crazy. This, I was right the first time, and there's no one here. And then in the corner of my eye, I looked up, and Robert Mugabe walked in, and he sat next to me. And I thought, shit, I'm not doing this. You know? Um, <laughs> And there were these guys with cameras, and I thought, this is going to go really well. It's one of my first overseas trips. I'm at like, this thing that's falling apart, and the only picture is me and Mugabe. And I just said... Greenpeace are not going to lie I, there. I, no, so I just said, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm running with my instincts. I'm out of here. See ya. Did <laughs> and you? I just got up and left. Yeah, I oh, know. God, I wasn't going to sit around there. Anyway. <laughs> so, that wasn't good. That wasn't good instincts thing. are good things, instincts, though. Instincts are, instincts are a good thing, yeah. But no, you do meet, yeah, I mean, you meet lots of people. And you, I mean, you meet remarkable, remarkable people, like everyday New Zealanders who are remarkable yeah. people. Yeah, you know, it's not you? just, I mean, obviously, you know, people that are world leaders or whatever, yeah, I mean, that's, that's of its own, own magnitude. But yeah, you meet, you meet people and, and they have, you know, they have great stories to tell and they do incredible things. And, yeah. and I think that's the thing with the honours list, you know, the honours list that they do twice a year, um, and they do pretty well, I reckon. I reckon governments are pretty good. They don't, they don't say, oh, this person votes one way or the other. You know, they're pretty good at actually picking people. On, on, you get about 500 recommendations, about 180 people get through. It's a funny system, but it sort of works its way out. But actually, it's interesting. It's not the person necessary, no, no disrespect to me, in there, that get the night or whatever. It's often the little nun yeah. or the little person that's, you know, done 98 years in the community at Girls' Brigade or whatever that's, you know, that, that they've got the great stories to tell, really. I think they're quite cool. Yeah. They get a little lemon in or something or, you know, QSM. It's quite sweet.